Hi, my name is Kelly Clement and I'm the Director of Sales here at Metastock. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about the benefits of data on demand. Data on demand is a term that means that you have access to the latest, cleanest, and most reliable market data. No more downloading, converting, sorting, or maintaining data. The benefits of data on demand is that you have access to the data when and where you need it. I think we all remember with the older versions of Metastock that it could take some time to really set up your files, get them the way that you want them, and be able to use them quickly and efficiently. Just for reminder's sake, let's take a look at the downloader, uh, which was in version 11 and previous, as the way to download, maintain, set up, and get your data going. Well, the first thing you actually had to do with the downloader before you even got started is you'd actually have to download the symbol utility file. The symbol utility file sets it up so you can set up all your local data files and get everything up and going. Well, let's just say here that uh, we're in North America, so I want to go in and download the North America symbol utility file. So I click on that. It will download and take just a few seconds here to download. And then we go ahead and run that file. Uh, we'll go ahead and unzip it to see Metastock data. And then it unzips and it sets up the, fi the file st structure the way that uh, we had set it up uh, based off of North America. So we go ahead and click OK here, close this, go into the downloader, and then uh, we'll set up our download. So we'll go into Tools, Download Prices, and let's uh, look for the data that I want to download here. So I'm going to go in and look for Metastock data. And then I can put in all the files that I want to, to have downloaded. So if I wanted NASDAQ 100, I wanted optionable stocks, S&P 100, and I could select multiples of these to add them in, or I could grab and add in all subfolders. Now one of the problems is when you're doing this old local data format is then if I do stocks by sector, we'll just add all the subfolders there, a lot of these stocks end up in different places and have to be downloaded multiple times. It's one of the problems with maintaining and using a local database. Uh, if I wanted to do the entire markets, um, you know, we could add those in. So we'll just put in the New York and the NASDAQ. And now I have all my files. So I've got down here 16,000 files that I need to update. And these would need to be updated on a daily basis if you're using a local data and not using data on demand. So let's go ahead and just click OK here. And it's going to go ahead and start its download. Uh, it'll start uh, and collect uh, the most recent date. Now, it's not yet actually market close here, so it's actually going to be grabbing yesterday's data because it's not at the end of the market. So we'll, we'll wait for that request to go through. I could go then down through later and update today's data and get that captured. Now, while we're doing that, what we can do is let's uh, just pop over to Metastock 13 and let's go over and look at data on demand. Now, with local data, I haven't yet been able to look at a chart, which is ultimately what we want to be doing with, uh, with our data. So I could just now start typing in uh, symbols and start pulling in the data that I want to be looking at. So if I'm looking at different charts, uh, obviously I can just go ahead and click those through. If I wanted to go ahead and just run a scan, I can just, uh, we'll just choose the uh, MACD expert here, excuse me, the, the MACD scan, buy signal, click next, and uh, let's say I just want to look through the S&P 100. So we'll go ahead and choose next, start that exploration. And you can see here, we're, uh, we're cruising through pretty quickly. We've already got uh, our results done, reports, and now I've already got two stocks that I'm looking at. Let's just check it in my download here. Oh, still, uh, looks like we're still working on that download. Uh, so let's go ahead and do some more here in Metastock 13. Now, if I want to, I can also turn on intraday snapshot bars. So now I'm not looking at yesterday's data anymore. I can see what's what happened at, uh, at an hour before market close here. So if I pull up the Dow now again, you can see it's not yet market close, but I've got a snapshot of the day's data. 
Okay, so now I've got a snapshot of the day's data. I've enabled that intraday bar and I can see what's going on. So what happens is it snaps data throughout the day rather than waiting till the end of the day. It makes it a lot better for, uh, for managing your trades and seeing market direction. So we can see here the Dow is having a big down day. Well, if we're scanning at the end of the day, we might have missed something there. So that's one of the powers of this. And we can also see that happening on a weekly bar as well. That'll update through today. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, close our chart here. And let's go in and let's, uh, let's run another scan. This time we're looking at today's data rather than uh, yesterday's data. So let's go ahead and run that same scan. So you can see now I've got a report here, and these are actually using the close as of about uh, 20 minutes ago. So we snapped the data, and then uh, about 20 minutes after that, uh, that's snapshotted on the hour, you now have a report. So if I come over here, it looks like we're still downloading and be able to do that. So that's some of the examples of what we can do with data on demand. Now, if you wanted to create your own file over here and create uh, a custom list in, um, in the old downloader, uh, we could go in and we can create a file and a new security, but we're actually still downloading, so it won't let me do that. So let's just jump over here and actually look at uh, making our own custom list. So we can just go to Manage List and Custom, and we can just say Online Instruments, and then we'll just say, uh, today's list. So I can come in and add from existing lists. So I can just say, oh, you know, I'd like all the stocks in the S&P 100 in my list. Add instruments in. I'd like to add the Dow. I'd like to add the SPX. And I'd like to add the NDX. Okay, so I've, I've built my list. Click Save. Close this out. And now we can see here, right here, I've got my list of today's list. So there's my 104 securities that I've had added to my list. I can go ahead again, run my scan on today's list that I've already created and start using it. I can start forecasting, I can be scanning, and let's see how we're doing here. We're, looks like we're in the A's right now on, on this. So now instead of managing that every day, we're not always going to be looking at every single folder and doing all this typically. But even if you are, data on demand takes the pressures after out of having to start a download, walk away, come back, and then being able to access your data. It's being able to sit down at your chart, at your Metastock, and start your start working with your data right away as we want to with traders. I want to be able to open up charts. I want to be able to explore, test, and be able to work rather than managing and working with data. Now one last thing here I'll show you really quickly is if you do want to just set up your folders the way you want them in here. So when you walk into Metastock 13, there's all these lists that are available for you depending on what data that you track. So you can just come in here and say, these are the folders I choose to follow. So these are the folders I choose to follow over here. So you can add those in, take them out. So if I don't want the Warsaw Stock Exchange futures, I can take those out. And now that will no longer show up in my list of, available, of lists. So now I can just work with the list that I want to quickly and easily. Data on demand, again, is about taking the downloading, converting, maintaining, and storing out of, your, out of your life. It's about making your life easier to be able to access your data when and where you want it, when you need it. We look forward to having you use Metastock 13. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact our Metastock sales department. Thank you.